Okay, we're here with Intro to Mass Comm. We are talking about television and how it impacts us as a culture. And in class today, we talked about uh, the speech made by uh, former FCC Chairman Newton Minow. And his famous quote was what? What did he say was the state of television back in the 60s? Television is a wasteland. A wasteland, and uh, to be more precise, a vast wasteland. So that was 1961 when he made that statement. What do you feel has changed in the last 50 years of television? Are we making improvements on the state of television from being a vast wasteland? Is it worse? Is it better? What are your opinions? All right, tell me, why do you think it's worse? We have programs like Honey Boo Boo that everybody watches. So what's wrong <clears throat> with Honey Boo Boo? It's getting good ratings, getting lots of tweets about it, which is another thing we looked at. If my little kid was mouthing off to me, I would probably smack her. So, I wouldn't put her on TV. So you're saying it sets a bad example. It does, okay. very much. Um, what about other programs? Are there any other bad examples? Who's got that? I think that um, like television, like the shows have gotten better since back in the day. But um, just what it, like the examples it sets has worsened a lot more. Interesting. What do you think, Tyler? I just feel that probably the most corrupting thing in, on television has to be shows like TMZ, Entertainment Tonight, just gossip shows that have no productivity, no redeeming value to society or the airways in general. It, it's just baffling that people want to waste their lives sitting in front of a television of all the things in the world and just watch the lives of other people because obviously they don't have one of their own. Well, one thing we talked about just now was... Uh, it's kind of sad when people are posting online about what they're watching on TV. I mean, is that like a sign of, if, if somebody's all day long posting stuff they're doing that's kind of mundane and depressing, is that a sign you should be worried about your friends if they're just, you know, watching TV all day? Is that? Yeah, I mean. Yes, it is kind of bad because all they're doing is wasting their life, just like Tyler said. They need to get out do some other things instead of just sitting on a couch, eating potato chips, and watching iCarly or The Voice. And do you guys feel like TV is addictive, like a drug? All right, Madeline's shaking her head. What, what do you think about the addictive nature of TV? Um, I think more so not for our generation, but the generations below us. I'm nanny, and I never had cable as a kid, so I always went outside. But now I have to force kids to go play outside and get off the couch watching TV all day. I mean, they will sit there for four hours and watch the same show but different episodes because they're hooked on it. They are, they're stuck to the TV no matter what. Just like reading or just like whenever you take drugs, you are escaping from something. So putting yourself into another world completely can be by watching TV or reading a book and going too far into it to the point where you're actually, you know, hating your own life and being miserable and not doing anything. Therefore, it's ultimately just going to make you an unhappy person in the future. Uh, but I feel like there's also at the same time a potential to raise the bar. And if we support programs that we think are smart or informative or sharing new view points of view and then if you start tweeting about those and sharing those online that'll help those producers get that content out so um, we, we do play an active role it's just sad that we it's hard fighting that lowest common denominator not to mention giving in occasionally ourselves any final comments from anyone all right let's wrap that up thank you all for watching our uh, intro to mass comm discussion about uh, television and whether or not it's a vast wasteland